Hi there. Today we're going to have a look at the top five hex components that I've been playing with. So in order to have any of these components working, you need to have the hex component installed. I'll leave a link in the description showing you a really simple way of how to get that up and running. So the first one we're going to talk about here is the Lovelace slider button card. So this is a really cool little option. You just download it and then open up the button after you've reloaded the page and you can basically add all of these different custom sliders. Very simply, it allows you to have a slider to control the brightness or the speed of the fan, etc. Next up, we've got the Sonoff LAN. Now, if you're using any Sonoff devices, the EWI Link component can be really frustrating. So I found that the Sonoff LAN is really good. I tried it a couple years back and it was a real pain, but the latest version works really well, gets all of your Sonoff devices locally into Home Assistant and allows you to control them locally on your LAN. Next up, we've got the adaptive lighting. So if you're keen on circadian rhythm lighting, so a component that actually controls the brightness of the light, depending on the position of the sun, but also the color of the light. So it can actually adjust according to the sun and give you that really nice warm glow in the evening. Next up, we've got HA battery notes. This is another one about batteries. Now, what this does, basically it auto-detects all the batteries in your system, shows you when they were last replaced, tells you the condition of the battery. Once you've replaced it, you can press the button. Also tells you the type of battery. So another great little component. The last one we're going to look at today is presence simulation. So if you're going away on holiday and you want it to look like your house is being habited, where lights are going on and off in a normal sort of rhythm, this follows the rhythm of your lights and then creates a simulation to let people think you're at home. Well, that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you do, please like and subscribe. If you've downloaded any of these hacks components, please give me your feedback and I'll make some more videos in the future showing a little bit more in depth about each one of these. Have a great week. Bye for now.